Welcome back to the Iron Vlog. This week we're taking an inside look at last year's champion, Scott Feo. We get to see his side and how he prepares for the race, his suppliers, and his sponsors. <laughs> My name is Scott Feo. Yeah, this time of year there's a lot of uh, preparation just in ordering parts, uh, getting all of our stuff coming in from all of our sponsors, um, start getting into a lot of training, um, getting ready, getting fit, kind of getting our mind right. Uh, for most of us we're trying to wrap up our work season and transition into race season. So. It's kind of a in between right now, but uh, slowly here we're going to be full blown. Just nothing but snow goes for three months. So um, there's there's a lot to do. <laughs> there's it's always tough to stay ahead, but we try to every year get more and more done early as possible. You know, I got a long list with my family and tie-ins and uh, racing myself. Um, it's something I really enjoy. Uh, there's something about being out there and the elements and just kind of being alone by yourself and and pushing yourself to limits that you kind of need to do to feel alive sometimes I guess and uh, I don't know it's once you get a taste of a win too like last year it's one of the best feelings you ever have um, so it's something to keep you pushing forward to get another one I think you know and I, this year especially I'd really like to repeat. Polaris in general has been phenomenal for me. Um, our local support here in Alaska with Chris at Hatcher Pass Polaris is phenomenal. Um, she does a great job of setting me up with anything I ever need or ordering anything I need and uh, is spot on just anytime I need it, it's available to me and the relationship with her and the manufacturer down south is great. Um, the support is, is really good. Yeah, this is, uh, this is our race chassis sled right here. Um, we usually break it down to pretty much nothing. Um, we go through the whole thing from the bottom of the motor all the way up to reinforcing the whole chassis to make that 2200 miles. There's a lot of little components that go into it that a lot of people don't see when it's, when it's stripped down and then it starts going back together. You know, people start getting more of an idea of the actual snow machine, but there's just a ton of hours in, uh, in preparation in the shop uh, and, and making parts that are custom one-off parts, Polaris giving us reinforced parts and it's a good collaboration I guess of everybody coming together and putting together I think the best sled out there. Our, uh, our work seasons up here are so crazy, uh, our summers are so short. I work construction as an electrician, uh, mostly building road systems and doing stuff like that. And, our time frame is pretty short, so it's all about work in the summer. I work in the winter, but not as much. Um, the transition period's pretty good. It's about right now, November time. Um, we start to slow down, and I start to get full blown into this. Um, this is kind of my job, I guess, in the winter, um, minus a few hours on my real job. But uh, it's uh, it's a full time dedication. I typically race uh, AMMC. Uh, most of the time in the winter, other than the Iron Dog. Um, the Iron Dog takes up a ton of our time. In a way, um, we practice so much. I usually put 3,500 miles on practicing and then 2,200 in the race, plus a lot of 150 mile cross country races through AMMC. So by the end of the year, I usually rack up eight, 9,000 miles, typically in a season. Um, the local races are, are great too, but uh, it's tough to race early before the Iron Dog and take a risk of getting hurt. Um, so it's kind of a it's kind of a double-edged sword there. You want to race in other races prior, but you don't want to take away from all the time and investment you put into the Iron Dog. So um, I typically wait to do all the local races uh, after the Iron Dog. Um, last year. That was my plan. Uh, I do my grandpa's memorial race every year. It's a 150 mile cross country race and uh, I wrecked the day before at training. Um, so I didn't get a chance to do that and that pretty much wiped me out all last season. Iron Dog's kind of my, my baby, I guess now. So I take care of it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Continue to stay tuned for more Iron Dog excitement and preparation. <laughs>